Betty Page and Divine have been restored. The anti-graffiti coating is very generous, just in case those vandals try to come back to destroy these works of art. Restoring the Betty Page and Divine mural is an all too familiar task for Matt Brennan. I really just had to redo all the black outlines, uh, pop the red, the faces both had to be totally redone. The mural on the side of a home in the U District has faced its fair share of challenges, you could say. This one definitely, for whatever reason, seems to be a kind of lightning rod uh, of people aggressively attacking it. The latest challenge came over the Memorial Day weekend when masked vandals splattered paint not only on the murals, but all over the home. A costly cleanup for the homeowners, something Chris Brugos doesn't want to deal with again. We have security cameras all over now. It makes me feel a little bit more uh, comforted, I guess, that at least we'll be able to have a chance of catching uh, people who come back. The big question Chris always gets is why? Why does he think vandals continue targeting the mural on his home? We don't know why they are doing what they did these couple times uh, with the red paint, but it happened after we put up Divine, uh, who, you know, is kind of an icon in that community. Divine is a well-known drag queen who passed away in 1988, a larger-than-life personality making this 12-foot-tall mural Fitting. That was kind of what inspired us for, what, to, for the subject matter for the new mural. That new mural? Marsha P. Johnson, a gay rights activist and trans woman, credited with helping start the modern gay rights movement, taking part in the Stonewall riots. Chris and his family are enjoying this moment, friends of theirs coming over to help them celebrate. Everyone is hoping this is the last challenge the murals will face. I really hope that people just can enjoy the mural and, uh, and like the new one. <laughs> and don't...